Beth. Welcome back to my main channel. I know it's been a long time. I got super sick after I was posting the videos every day of the month. I don't know what happened. I think I just got the flu like super randomly. Not a good time. It was not fun at all and I'm getting sick again so it's quite the rager over here but um I also have to get my tonsils and my adenoids out over the summer so like not stoked about that at all, but today I have a story time for you guys, and it's about the time that I broke the garage while I was babysitting. So that was like, that was pretty bad. So what happened was, I was babysitting this girl that I usually babysat during the summer when I was about 15, I want to say, maybe 16, and I knew her family pretty well, and she lived in like a nice neighborhood and everything, so I would go there maybe every few weekends or every other weekend, and I would go babysit for her. So, um, this girl was in my camp group, so I was a counselor over the summer, and, like, we were pretty close, and, um, over the years, maybe sending her, like, 15, 16, 17, yeah, maybe just had her for, like, three years, I want to say. So, maybe just had this girl for, like, a long time, and then it was, like, probably the last month before I left for college, that's what it was, time frame. Last month before I left for college, and, like, I wasn't gonna see her again, probably, because, like, I kind of like dipped out of babysitting after college, but beforehand, like the mom knew I was going to Arizona and everything, so it was like the last time I was going to see her, she knew too. I think it was just like harder because I babysat her for a long time, so like she was a little bit upset like the last time I was babysitting for her. So it was her and her brother, and we were just doing our usual thing, playing little games and watching TV and stuff, and she was like really cute and everything, and just super easy to be around babysit. I never really had any problems with her, and her parents were super nice, so... It's like a pretty easy job for me and like when the kids are easy you know that like it's gonna be a good babysitting time you're not gonna have any problems most likely so we just kind of like hung out watched tv like i was saying played some games and yeah she was super easy so towards the end like i'm starting to like get ready to go and everything and like the mom's calling me saying hey we'll be back soon and everything and like i always like needed to be like told and everything because I like might have not had a car that day because I didn't have a car at that time so I had to like make sure I knew when I was going so I can get the car back so it's just it was complicated because I was like sharing a car with someone my family so like I had to make sure I was getting the car back to them so um she made a heads up that they would be back in 15 minutes and this was during the day so like I didn't have to tuck her in or anything and her brother they were just like kind of hanging out and like I don't know she was like super hyper little girl like I don't know what the deal is, but she was super hyper that day. Maybe she was just excited to see me or something. But I didn't give her like any candy or anything, so I don't really know why she was so hype. Like she was so hyper, like so excited. I mean, I guess when you were younger, like she was seven, so like that makes sense. But I don't know, she was so hype. So her mom comes in through the garage and she's like, hey, like, did you guys have fun? And she's like, yeah. And she, like, starts, like, tearing up. She's like, I don't want, like, Steph to leave. Like, you know, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, my gosh, you're so cute. Like, the brother's just, like, younger than her, and he's, like, playing games, and he's just like, whatever, like, bye. Like, so I'm just, like, hugging the little girl. I'm sorry. Like, this is so sad to see you, like, when I come back. Well, like, when you was dipping out of babysitting anyways, but... I was like, hey, like, it's okay, like, don't worry about it. So, on um, the mom was like, she gave me, like, the money and everything, and I start walking out with her, and the little girl, she's, like, pulling my hand, and she's, like, trying to keep me inside. So, basically, like, a door here was here, then the garage was here, and then, like, you know, the garage wall thing was on the other side, just, like, any house, but, like, it was in this direction. So, I was walking out of the house, and, um... I like, feel something like touch my shoulder and I'm just like okay like it's probably nothing and like um I just feel like a little and like that was like part of the garage and I'm just like okay so um I like looked back and little girl was like trying to like get me to stay in so she like closed the garage on me and I was like oh girl like it's okay so like I came back to her and like the mom was like just give her like another hug she's freaking out so I hugged her and I was like, okay, sweetie, like, you need to, like, let me go out of the garage. Like, I had to get my car back to my mom because I was going to get in trouble. So, Ooh. so I was, like, trying to finesse my way out of the house, like, the best way I could. And I was just, okay. So I, I start leaving the house and... Once I'm like at the door and there's like this other garage button and the mom was like just press it like it's fine. 
I pressed it and this little girl goes like running like Dash from The Incredibles into like the garage like right outside like you know how some garages are sensitive like usually a lot are like the garage door just like stops on her like literally right above her head and the mom's like what did you do and I was like you told me to like close the garage like I didn't mean that like is she okay so she was like yelling at her daughter a little bit about like the garage I was kind of like standing there and I was like I'm gonna take the heat for this like what do I do and I was like oh bye like I'm gonna miss you like I didn't know what else to do because like she really wanted to say bye to me again and the mom was like done and the little girl's having a temper tantrum at the garage and I'm just standing there like I need to go my mom's going to kill me like <laughs> So I made it out of the house, I got into the car, and the garage door opens up again, and I'm just like, I need to get out of here, so like, you literally see me in my car, I'm just like, <laughs> like trying to eat out of there, but that was like something so weird that happened to me that's never happened to me before, and I didn't use that someone, like with the garage, and like saying bye, and having it be like so dramatic, but I have a lot of these sitting stories if you guys want to hear some crazy ones. Oh, and I also think I'm going to be uploading probably every Saturday. I'm not sure yet. I'm still gonna like figure that out but like right now we're gonna stick with once a week and I'm just gonna figure out what day and I'll let you guys know the next video. Um, that is like the first story time relating to that that I've done on this channel. I love doing story times like conspiracy theories and stuff like that and I also will be doing more college videos this semester I guess you could say or like this part of the year because I'm going back on Tuesday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!